hi everyone welcome back to the ext.js video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use the pagination all right so now let's get start so what we are going to do this video before we just going to start that I, uh, i'm just going to tell you we will add a pagination tool here and it will show that then for the next page we can click on the next and for the previous we can click on the previous and uh, we can click on the last page also all right and it will show the page numbers and all all right so for that we have to change inside the two files one for my grid and another for my store all right because i'm not going to show that how can call the apis and how we can make the grid because the link is uh, the the functionality for uh, this the video for this functionality has already made and you can get the link in the description box all right so the two changes that we have to do i'm just going to do here which is the b bar property i have to add here and in the b bar property i have to add two more properties one is the x type which is the paging toolbar all right and the second is uh, we have to use the display page and inside the display info we have to use the value two here can just semicolon here use a semicolon here sorry comma here all right so this is done now and the second change we have to do inside the store and in store we have to just as the add the page size so let's say i want to get the two data on every page all right so now you can see that there is a toolbar let's see there is some error i think so let me check first of all what is that okay it's a tool bar not bar all right so now you can see that we got the pagination here uh, one more thing I want to tell you that unfortunately the API that I am using this is not supporting the pagination so when I just pass the data from here it will return the 10 result because I am not a backend developer so I, I cannot make the APIs but here you can see that uh, when we just hit here on the next page it will tell that the page number 2 starting from the 2 and limit is also 2 alright when I just click on the third one So I'm just going to clear them out. Yeah, now, now it will look nicer. When I just click on the third, then you can see that the request for third is also gone here. And it will send the data, page number and all. Because, uh, um, so let's come back here. It will send the data like page number three because we are on the third page starting from the fourth because we have to data start from the number four because of one two on coming on the one page two and uh, zero one on the sh uh, coming on the one page two and three on the second page th on third starting from the fourth and five will result here and the limit is two all right so if i just put here limit more like i just put here lim limit uh, four then there will be only three pages because there are totally ten result are here then you can see that uh, one page starting from the zero limit four on the second page starting from the four and all right so from the front end uh, in the ext.js the this is working fine and fantastic so for when you just click on that one it will go to the first page when i just click on that one it will come come on the third page all right so it's working fantastic because of the due to the api uh, it's showing not accepting the uh, limitation that's why we are only sh show the old results here if a page accept the result then it will show only uh, accepted result like if we put the four limit then it will show only four here so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel bye, -bye.